Hi, Showridge. I am senior Nevaeh Smith, and today I am interviewing Ms. Mackenzie Packerel and Jolena Mundy. Now, Mackenzie Packerel is the Vice President of Girls Inc of Greater Indianapolis, an organization that serves thousands of girls in Indianapolis annually with the mission to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. In her role, she works to design and implement strategic programs for both the development and program departments consistent with the strategic goal of providing long-term impact in the lives of girls we serve. Also, Jolena is a sophomore at Indiana University and she um, is attending as an undecided major, but interested in studying political science and economics. Now, she has participated in Girls Inc for four years in two programs, including Young Women in Leadership with Girls Inc of Indianapolis for three years and nationally with Girls Inc Teen Advocacy Council for about a year. Now, we are so happy to have you ladies here today. Um, we want to start by asking you all a few questions to kind of get to know what you like to do and why you decided to participate with Girls Inc and everything else in between. So, um, my first question is for Jolena. What made you want to join the Girls Inc program? Um, I initially heard about Girls Inc through a job I was at and they told me it was a program that could help um, basically young women into college and learn how to um, navigate the college experience. I don't have um, my mother nor father graduated from college and no one around me really graduated from college. So I really didn't know how to apply to college, how to get scholarships or anything about the college experience. So that was initially what brought me to want to join, join Girls Inc just to um, learn more about the college experience and how to apply to college and um, to hopefully gain opportunities and experiences that could help me get into college and help me like just grow as a person, so. That's really great. I'm glad that Girls Inc has had the impact on you. Um, so Max, Mackenzie, I'm sorry. As the Vice President of Girls Inc, what are your duties and responsibilities? Yeah, thank you um, for the opportunity to speak today. So. Um, my, some of my biggest responsibilities are creating the direction for Girls Inc. So, um, creating programs, um, that serve hundreds of girls in the community, making sure those programs, um, have staff, um, and are well supported. And then, um, working with individuals, corporations, and foundations to ensure that we have the money um, to support our programs, as well as everything communications and marketing as well. Great, so you're in the really technical social side, making sure the word is out and everything goes smoothly. That's great, I love that. Um, so is Girls Inc. only located in Indianapolis? Can you give me an idea of where the locations are and how broad Girls Inc. is? Yeah, so Girls Inc. is a national organization. We, there are 79 affiliates across the U.S. and Canada. Um, there are six affiliates here in Indiana. Um, Girls Inc. of Greater Indianapolis, we say Girls Inc. Indy for short, serves um, predominantly um, students in Marion County, but also in Hendricks, Hamilton, and Boone counties. We um, are located right up the road from you all at 39th and Meridian. Um, but we go directly into schools um, and serve students there at their location, including uh, right uh, in your own school at Short Ridge. Um, and we are at 60 schools across the Indianapolis area um, with our greatest partner being IPS schools. Wonderful. Wow. Um, so it's good to know that it is located in a lot of areas where many girls can, you know, access it. That's really great. So I'd like to ask you the same question. What inspired you to become a part of the Girls Inc. organization? So my Girls Inc. experience began in middle school. Um, I was a middle, middle school student. Um, I grew up in Indiana, um, I'm sorry, Seymour, Indiana, which is in Southern Indiana. Um, and we had, a, we are one of the towns that has a Girls Inc. Um, there. And so I went to 
we have clubs there. So I went to a club after school with my friends in middle school. Um, and I really learned about our mission there. And the mission of Girls Inc. is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Um, so I really loved the programs when I went as a participant. I later worked at that same club in high school after school. Um, and then when I moved to Indy to go to college, I went to the University of Indianapolis. I became a volunteer um, at the Girls Inc. Indy location here. Um, a position for a staff um, spot opened in 2016. And so I joined our staff um, at that time. So it's, I've been with the organization for a little over five years um, and I've done direct service. So working directly in our schools, um, I've been the leader of our program department, the leader of our fundraising department as the chief development officer, leading to my position as vice president. But the thing that keeps me um, involved in Girls Inc. and coming back for more um, is just uh, being able to build such a strong culture and such a strong program that truly empowers not only our participants, but our staff members, our volunteers, and everyone that it touches um, to be their best self. Um, and then, of course, I have the pleasure of working with awesome girls like Jolena, um, who, um, you know, I think she'll share that Girls Inc. inspires her, but she equally inspires me. Um, and so it's really, really cool opportunity to work with um, hundreds and thousands of girls like her across the city. Yes, that's great. Um, and actually, speaking of Jelena, I would like to ask you, um, how do you think those values from Girls Inc. has um, played a part in how you um, navigate through life in college? Um, yeah, so one of like the main, I guess, sayings or missions that um, Mackenzie mentioned was the um, saying they're trying to inspire girls to be strong, smart and bold. And um, one of the biggest like takeaways that I've taken from Girls Inc. and that has carried me through high school and where I am in college now is um, the confidence that I gained. Um, I will say that I wasn't super insecure before going into Girls Inc, but I definitely had my own insecurities about um, my intelligence, about um, how much power I'm able to hold, if I'm even able to hold power, because, you know, for a lot of women, um, being able to take up space and being able to hold your power and control your power in um, any area and also predominantly male areas it's a lot more difficult because um, you're constantly told that you're doing too much, you're being too bossy. And that's a lot of things that um, I had been told growing up. I had been told I was too bossy. Um, I was just too much a lot of the time. So a lot of the times I would try to like not be that. And I think going into Girls Inc., they gave me the confidence. I remember, I think on the first day I went, we did some type of project and they were like, any idea is not too much. Say as crazy as you want to go. We do not care how proud, loud, how much you are. They never try to like uh, tell us to be quiet. They let us like express ourselves. And I think that's a really big thing. And it built my confidence and let me know that I was allowed to say what I need to say. I was allowed to be confident and that I basically mattered and could take up space without feeling that I was doing too much essentially. So I think that's helped me because now I'm not scared to speak out in class for fear of what others may think. Um, I'm okay with taking mistakes and I'm able to, um, I think, continue to grow with knowing that it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. I love that. And honestly, I can relate to that. I've always been told, oh, you're too bossy or you're doing too much. And even now, just speaking up on things that really matter, you tend to feel like you can't say anything. And so I'm glad that Girls Inc. has given you that opportunity to know that you can speak out and then not be too much and you not feel dismissed because you know you're supposed to speak up for what you believe in and what's right. So I really appreciate that. That spoke to me. Um, I want to ask, um, would you still be able to be a part of the Girls Inc. program even after high school? Because I know that, you know, you graduated and so now you're moving on in your um, in your life and your education. So. 
Um, I don't know specifically any programs that girls in CAS for college students. Um, Mackenzie may be able to tell you more if there is any or if there's any in the plans. Um, I know, like Ms. Mackenzie said, she like volunteered after um, she left um, Girls Inc. Or so you could do opportunities like that and volunteer. I'm pretty sure at Girls Inc. And then maybe if you want to apply for jobs, um, I know there are a lot of volunteer opportunities, so I'd say that's the main way to get involved after high school with Girls Inc. So yeah. I can, yeah, I can share a little bit more about that. Um, specifically for the students that went through the Young Women in Leadership program, like Jolena, we always like to invite them back to speak about their experience of life after high school. I think it's um, you know, it's great that there are these adults up there that share about what you sh what you can expect after leaving high school and whatever your plan is. Um, but I think it's most impactful when you hear it from somebody that's living that. And so we each year try to to bring in a panel of um, girls and alums. Um, and then something we have in the works. Um, we always have something in the works, so you're totally right, Jelena, is next year we'll be launching Project Accelerate um, across the country um, that will continue to be able to allow Girls Inc. to provide services um, and support um, and networks for students um, at least four years after they leave Girls Inc. Um, the services will look completely different um, because as young adults, you need totally different supports um, than you what you need in high school, but it at least creates um, this network that you can rely on as you continue to transition into adulthood. That sounds great. That's wonderful that you guys, it's kind of like a follow up, like you continue in these girls lives so that they, you know, stay on track and you help them in their future endeavors. So that's really great. Um, I um, want to ask um, to both of you, both of you can comment on this, um, but what makes Girls Inc? I don't want to say a better organi organization, but what makes Girls Inc unique and set apart from different organizations? Do you want to go first, Jolene, or you want me to go first? Um, I can go first. OK. Um, so I think what sets Girls Inc. apart from other organization is kind of within its title that it's all, well, at least Girls Inc. of Indianapolis was all female led. It had all female mentors and all the members were female. Um, they do have volunteers who are male, but they do try to prioritize um, women empowerment and having an area where there is all women. And I think that is essentially for me what made it unique and what stands apart from other organizations because there's not many spaces that you can go into, especially for girls and women, where you're completely surrounded by women and where you can feel supported by women and um, feel comfortable. So I think that was what sets it apart. Um. I'm glad you think that um, the I think in my opinion is Girls Inc. Um, we really utilize the, the voice of the of who we serve. So um, any of the participants enrolled in our programs, um, they really guide the, the direction of the program. And so we truly try to build programs based upon the needs of those we're serving. And so you know, Jelena was in YWell and um, each year we ask like what what are goal what are your goals? What colleges are you interested? What careers are you interested? And then we seek out opportunities um, that they have spoken about um, to ensure that we're providing the resources and the networks that they truly need um, instead of saying, we believe you need this. Um, so we are truly creating a unique experience based on those that we serve, um, really listening um, and um, creating those empowering experiences instead of saying um, we're, the, we're the adults and we believe you need this. Um, so I, I think that Girls Inc. is unique in that way that we we truly try to come from a place of empowerment um, and, and help you walk away 
with the resources and the network that you want and need. Wonderful, that's great. And that does set apart from a lot of different um, organizations. Um, this is my final question for you both, um, and I want you both to answer if that's OK. Um, what is something that you can leave with the girls in the school or the girls who are viewing this live right now? I can go. Um, I, I um, like like Jolena um, when you know, I was um, a teen and a young adult, um, and I would say it's still to this day sometimes, um, I feel like as women and girls, or um, there is this, this natural um, voice in your head um, that, um, that talks about doubt, or am I good enough? Um, did, did I do that right? um should i go for this opportunity um and um uh, you know and just in the last few years like there's a name for that and um it's imposter syndrome um and i think i think people the boys and men also suffer from this as well um but all just being um aware of this and that you're not alone in um and some of these thoughts and feelings, um, I think number is key number one. Um, but also number two is like, you are good enough. You are doing the best thing for yourself. There is no right way. Um, you deserve to have that seat at the table. Um, and you should, you should speak up for what you truly believe in. Um, there is no right way. Um, but being, um, being that strong, smart, and bold person um, that you truly, you know, aspire to be. And there are tons of girls and women um, ready to be in your corner and finding your network of people that power and support you is key in that. Um, so I would say um, finding your tribe is really important. Um, whether that's somebody in school, um, somebody in, in a, a, a group you're in, um, or whether that's Girls Inc. Um, if you're if you're looking for a place um, that you are wanting that empowerment and that support, we'd love to have you at Girls Inc. Um, I'm sure my information will be dropped somewhere. Um, feel free to reach out um and you know find us on social media or on our website um we'd love to have you i'd love to talk about getting you involved um uh, but i just think that that network of support is so important and so find your people um and make sure that they're the people that truly support you um yeah i can carry on to that and um add on to it. I definitely, um, to begin, recommend everyone applying to Girls Inc. Um, and if you are able to get in, then to embrace that opportunity and talk to as many people as you possibly can and meet as many people as you possibly can. And then on top of that, I just want to like leave advice of saying that um, I think oftentimes in our society, we are taught not to embrace our femininity um, we are often pitted against other women and we are taught that femininity is not a strength and i think what i am learning now um, and continue to learn is that femininity can be a strength and there is strength within women and to find that and to know the power of women relationships having women friends women mentors and knowing the power that that can have and just um, working to create that network is important Thank you guys so much. Wonderful advice um, to the viewers. Um, like they said, be bold, be smart, and speak out. You're not doing too much, especially you girls. You're not doing too much. I'd like to thank you ladies once again for joining the live and giving us more insight on Girls Inc. And have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Good to see you back, Joe. <laughs> Bye.
nice seeing you guys.